Okay, greetings, welcome, and hello. I'm Eva, I make music under the name Stimmerman, and this is a walkthrough of the Ultimate Everything Music Bundle, my little library contribution to the game asset stores like Unity, Fab, Game Dev Market, Itch, in this bundle we have 13 different music packs um, among those we have eight complete packs so those are packs that I've written they're sort of soundtracks to games that don't exist yet each one represents what would ideally be a complete soundtrack for a game, depending on that game style. Then we have a couple short stylistic packs. So those are just maybe three to nine music cues that are very stylized. Those can be used with the other music packs or if you just need a couple short cues for some very specific things. And then we have these two at the bottom, uh, which I would call pure assets. Um, so those are loops for all occasions and stingers, blips, and dings. And those are basically exactly what they sound like. We're going to go through all the packs here today and I'm going to talk a little bit about what's in all of them so you'll get to see. Um, if you don't want to hear me talk about all this and you just want to listen, all of these packs are available to listen to all the way through uh, I'll leave the links to those below. They're not demo reels. You can listen to the whole thing. I'm posting this in October of 2024. At this time, many but not all of these are also available as individual packs on my stores. Eventually, they will all be available as individual packs, but I wanted to make sure I got this bundle out. So if you have watched this or if you've purchased this uh, and you like one more than the other let me know if you've watched this and you haven't purchased it and you just want one of them and you don't see it available let me know I'll try to prioritize getting that one out but in the meantime here's everything in this bundle this was intended for a few different purposes you probably know how the asset stores work if you're on here. If you don't, when you're buying this, you're essentially buying a non-exclusive license to use this music in your game. So if you're making a game on a shoestring budget and you need some music in there, you can absolutely use this in your final published game. The caveat is, of course, that so can everybody else who purchased it. So as long as you're okay with non-exclusive use of the music, have at it. This music is all yours. Um, not literally, of course, but you can use it however you want it. Uh, there are also, as a composer, I've had work in a couple different areas that I think um, this pack could be applied to. So for instance, if you have a demo of a game and you do intend to hire a bigger team, a composer, more artists, but you need funding. A lot of the time you need really high quality music to get into a demo so that you can get a grant or get signed to a publisher. Um, so these represent really high quality placeholders. And finally, if you are intending to hire a composer, but you're not quite sure what music is gonna work best in your game, this is a great low risk way to try out a bunch of different styles see what works for you for instance if you're making a game that takes place in outer space and you've sort of presumed that a lot of synthesizers and sci-fi sounds are going to work the best uh, and then you hire a composer and tell them that and they do it and you realize maybe that doesn't work so well um that happens more often than you would think so this is a, a great way to test out, hey, maybe an orchestral score would work better, maybe a sort of um, 
like space western soundtrack would sound better all of that so if any of that sounds like it interests you let's get right into it if none of that interests you feel free to keep watching if you want i'm not going to stop you but let's jump right in and talk about some of these packs so first of all uh we've got queen of the kingdom so this is orchestral rpg jrpg adventure style stuff there is a there are a lot of orchestral rpg soundtracks on the asset stores already so i tried to make some cues that are a little more stylized or maybe filling in some gaps uh, that i noticed so let's listen to a couple so first of all we've got this one friends in war So this is, as I hear it, maybe combat music, but a lot of combat music on the asset stores is very dire. This is a little bit fun. We've got some fun combat going on. It's so important to have fun in your game. Some different sections. Add a little interest, depth, momentum. Let's check out this first track, Not All Heroes. So, this one uh, we'll hear has a few different areas that it moves through. So, we've got this kind of sweeping orchestral heroic stuff. Exciting music. We're embarking on a wonderful adventure together. And as it progresses, we get some tension. some conflict. So this one I was imagining could be used for a trailer for the game. It could be used if you're making a demo for an animatic. It could be used for a cutscene. You'll notice in all of these main packs that there is a BPM listed in the title. So I tried to make these the same sorts of deliverables that I would give if I were composing a bespoke soundtrack. So the way these are intended to be used is that you can pull these up um, in FMOD or whatever you're using, and you can use the BPM to create a grid and set your own loops. So all of the main packs are set up like that. They are long tracks. Let's listen to this one, Friendly Crustaceans. This is more like nice level music. So a lot of these tracks have introductions, uh, transitional bars, an a, at least an A section and a B section. Lots of different layers that come in and out. And you can implement them by letting them play all the way through. You can set loops around individual sections. You can use just one part of it if you want. There's a lot of versatility a lot of different uses you can get out of each track. Um, let's listen to some, in case you do want dire combat music, we can listen to some of those. Now, a lot of music on the asset store advertises itself as being seamlessly loopable. Um, if you do want seamlessly loop, this is very dramatic music. This is sort of like Final Boss Disaster Music. And again, you can hear we have a lot of different sections. If all you want is are seamless loops, oh my god, just wait till we get to loops for all occasions. You're gonna love it. For every other situation, if you just want to let them play all the way through, or you want to set your own loops, um, this sort of bo main body of the pack is gonna work great for you. Blood and Guts Academy. 
this one, I was sort of envisioning being for like, you're in the enemy's territory, you're exploring, but it's ominous. And you get a couple different sections. If you can tell by looking at me, but I played a lot of Final Fantasy VIII in my youth. Uh, here's one called Unfamiliar Land. This one, I was thinking maybe you're you're exploring a new part of the map, or perhaps our protagonist is at sort of a low midpoint in the story where things are getting really arduous. And again, I tried to stay within the genre while also making these imbued with a little bit of my own personal style and flair. If you want super generic orchestral underscores, my god, there is so much of that already on the asset stores. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, here's more um, combat music. Just regular, dire. Stuff. Uh, I've been here before. This can be used for a mysterious area of the map. Um, dream sequences, flashbacks, cutscenes. Family piece. Again, this could be your hometown, like a location cue, something nostalgic, could be dialogue underscore, could be a, a cutscene where something emotional is happening. Let's see if there's anything else. Ah, so here, hero redo. This is a lot of the material from that first track, our sort of main theme, but it's designed to be more of an underscore, easy to implement all around the game. Uh, Enchanted Forest. You get a nice intro in case you need to drop in to the level after a load screen or something, or if you just like having a little intro line. If not, you can set the loop to begin wherever you want it to. The last one we'll talk about in here is this one, Three Kings. In a lot of the older Final Fantasy games, there are these sort of complex, noty, uh, fugish sort of music cues. I, I feel like it's less common to hear those now, um, but I wanted to make one in case that's your vibe. They're great for mini games or talking to like a, a sagely character. <laughs> Uh, Queen of the Kingdom. So, let's move on to pensive pieces for orchestra. This one could very easily be used in conjunction with Queen of the Kingdom if you are making a game that that wants an orchestral score, but you need more sort of just like calm underscore walking around music. It was originally inspired more by exploration games like Abzu, or um, Metroidvania style games like Hollow Knight that have a, you know, like a modern instrumentation, but like kind of just a calm orchestral score. Um, maybe a little bit the Ori games. This 
sort of thing. Again, if you are prepared to set your own loops, you have a lot of different sections here, different layers coming in, different layers coming out. You can also just let the whole thing play through if that's what's in your heart. Uh, deep rest. Who doesn't love a harp? Big Batty Dialogue. I really like this one. This is like, you know, you've entered the bad guy's castle and you're talking to him for the first time. He's like, well, oh, I see where you have found my way into the dungeon and you may only pass if you solve these puzzles three. Your game is probably a lot cooler than whatever it was that I just did, but you get the idea. We have like some goofy low horns here. Laughing at your villain, I feel like. Or maybe this feels genuinely ominous to you. Um, yeah, more village music. Calm stuff. Like the title says, a lot of pensive pieces for orchestra. Uh, Crystal Vista, I really like this one. to do so. Um, most of these are fairly pleasant. Some of them are a little more ominous. And very underscore-ish. One version of a theme there, and a second version of it here. This is a little more, slightly more exciting, but still pretty calm. Right, that's pensive pieces. So the next pack is called Modern Metroidvania. Pretty obvious what that is. This is, um, some people call this like sci-fi. <laughs> Um, I never really liked that term, but th these are basically modern soundtracks, uh, hybrid orchestral music. Um, so orchestra plus synthesizers and drums influenced by Metroid and Castlevania specifically, not like Metroidvania gameplay necessarily. Um, like these. You can really tell that we're in space with a gun. Here's one called Forbidden Platform. The choirs are heavily featured in this pack. I also think you could use this in conjunction with the previous two packs if you really wanted. I don't think it would sound out of place. There's a pack we'll look at later called Electric Ambience that I also think would work really well alongside this one. Again, 
you get a lot of different layers, um, different kinds of loops that you can set yourself or just let them play through. Asteroid Exploration, this one's a little more... That's like an exciting version of it, but let's hear over here. Ah, building to battle. I remember the original Castlevania. <laughs> I love those scores so much with the really dense choral arrangements and the and the funny organs. Um, never goes out of style, in my opinion. We have one very. Uh, kind of like specific combat cue in here, battling baddies. Very inspi inspired by Castlevania. Go with a little edge. Yeah, the rest of these are pretty similar, and yet they have so much to offer. <laughs> All right, moving right along, here's one uh, called Indie Rock Ambience. So this is something that I don't think there's a lot of um, on the asset stores, at least not thoroughly for a whole game at a high quality, and this is a soundtrack similar to um, maybe Kentucky Route Zero, or Outer Wilds, um, or even Life is Strange, like acoustic guitars, banjos, electric guitars, upright piano, a little nostalgic, like it says, great for exploration, narrative, cozy games. great thing about this pack, um, to me, is that it's based around having different iterations of themes. So I've labeled these as um, time of day uh, and location themes. So you've got like some different versions of the sunrise theme, some different versions of the night sky theme, river theme, mountain theme, whatever. You can use those themes however you want. They can be for time of day and location. They could be for different characters. If you're making a narrative game with like five characters and you want each one to be represented by a theme or you want the theme to represent a feeling or um, a theme of the narrative or whatever. So let's see an example of that. So here's the night sky theme. some nice sad little guitars This one has a lot of swirling ambience at the end. So here's uh, another iteration of the night sky theme. More upbeat, and yet still a little, a little tugging at the heartstrings. And we get the theme again. 
one has a few different sections, so we get like the theme again. Here's like mountain theme one. Very plucky Americana type stuff. Here's mountain theme two. these are recorded um, with real instruments they still loop pretty well uh, if you'd like to create loops out of them they also play top to bottom just fine all right here's one of the short packs uh, this is high energy DNB as the title suggests these are like uh, you know video game music does drum and bass platforming if you want fun combat music that one's very goofy um, there's some less goofy ones This pack just has five of these. Again, if you want to listen through to all the tracks, they're below. You can listen to them in full. Okay, next we've got Cozy Island Volume 1. I do intend to make a Volume 2. These are for, obviously, like casual, cozy games, um, maybe puzzles um, or mini games. Kind of inspired by Animal Crossing a little some cues in the, the Sims franchise a little. Just some chill music for making a cozy little farm or house. Again, you get a lot of variety in the different sections. Clouds over town. Something sad is happening in town.
little by little. I love this one. It's very sweet. This would make me want to stay in the game I'm playing. Haunted shells. This is good for something mischievous is happening, or maybe a tricky little puzzle you got in the game. Chill Nightmare Samba. Ah, the truth shall be revealed. I really like this one. This is great as like a dialogue cue or a, a short kind of puzzle. It reminds me a little bit of like uh, music cues you might hear on reality TV or something. With pause. My apologies to Dizzy Gillespie. Again, if you'd like to listen to the entire soundtrack in its entirety, the link is below. Just giving a little overview of the kinds of things that are in here. Let's look at Menu of Dreams real quick. This doesn't have to be used as your menu. I thought it, that's, you know, I intended to write some menu music. You can do whatever you want with it. also be great for like a shop area or whatever this could be the music inside your house just very pleasant all right ah toe tap and boss battles so as you can see this one says combat platforming high energy music i intended this to be like maybe the last <laughs> the last boss battle pack one would ever need but also it's just great if if you just need a bunch of high energy style stuff um this is probably the closest stylistically to things i wrote for the get a grip chip soundtrack there's just a lot going on it's all really high energy fun tunnel. I really like this one. Great for if you have chases in your game, if you're making a racing game, or anything fast-paced. the player engaged when things change up a lot like that as opposed to just you know a single loop that plays for a really long time sheep dance the 
fight. Into the abyss. Again, just because your game has combat doesn't mean that the music has to sound dire. We can all have fun. Um, so we get a bunch of different things repeated, with different layers added. Definitive endings. Um, let's take a look. Maybe one more thrilling conclusion. Who doesn't like a nice lead in? This is very, uh, this is like standard. So that, oh, Gearhead. If I had my druthers, I would write all stuff like this. It's dissonant and strange. You get the idea with that one. I'm so sorry about the dog. All right, I'm sorry about that. Um, so let's take a look at Dark and Cozy. So this one I made to uh, fill, from my perspective, a gap in the asset stores. These are meant for cozy adjacent games that have a little bit of an edge, a nostalgic factor, or an angsty factor. Um, when I was looking around the asset stores, a lot of packs that were maybe advertising themselves as being like beat-centric um, were more just sort of like kind of lo-fi beats to study to style. These are inspired kind of like by games like maybe Night in the Woods um, or Cult of the Lamb. They're a little sad or a little angsty, um, but still have a kind of relaxing vibe to them. And again, if you want to just let them play through, that's great. set loops. Each track has a lot of variety in it. Uh, new dog. <laughs> How appropriate.
that's not your lunchbox. You sound like you're getting up to no good in this game. And yet, I'm as relaxed as could be. Dart school. <laughs> Use it however you want. This actually, okay, so this one, welcome home. This, I think, is the only thing in the whole bundle that actually was a throwaway from um, like a bespoke soundtrack that I wrote. This was originally written for a game that I scored and I, I ended up not using it. It wasn't rejected. It just felt maybe a little too moody the vibe of the game. This one's got a fun B section. Similar to Queen of the Kingdom, you get another version of the first track with just sort of less in it. Um, I also like this one, Real Curb. Somehow this one reminded me of like early Kirby games. Couldn't exactly tell you why. This one's got a fun bass line later on. Okay, Electric Ambience. Again, this one is labeled Narrative Puzzle Exploration. These are inspired by maybe like Oxen Free or Fez even. These are for the most part underscore-ish ambient synthesizer type thing. Um, I think they'd be great for dialogue. Like I said earlier, you could even use this in conjunction with the modern Metroidvania pack for calmer moments. Um, and a lot of them start out like this, really ambient, just pads, very little time. Still, if you want to set loops, get a line up when you toss it in. they get increasingly dense. Melodies, choirs, increasingly thick harmony. This one also has a, a few different themes, so like over here we have substrate theme. straight which has a little more bounce to it and we get a 
restatement of that main theme. Again, each of these longer packs is intended to provide music for an entire game, so while these are mostly ambient, you may not want your whole game to be ambient. So you get a couple fun ones like this. Uh, another example would be we heard from the mist at the beginning, and here we have mist theme. Creepy little toy piano for you. On pastel clouds is another one that starts super ambient. Very little time. Most of these are quite long. I think a few of them are five or six minutes. As it progresses, it gets some percussion, some melodic elements that help to establish a little rhythm. New Bone has um, the same theme as the menu music. New Bone is one of my favorite things in here, too. It has a, a very long, sad intro. And then... Again, I think this would work great with the Modern Metroidvania pack, too. If you want to just throw them all in there. Okay, cool. We have just two short packs to go, and then we're on to um, the true assets. Thank you for sticking around this long. If you have, if you haven't, I hope you're doing great wherever you are. So originally, when I was making this bundle, I had this aspiration that I was going to also make the entire bundle again as a like a retro pack so you would get the whole bundle and then you would get the whole bundle again as like an 8-bit or a 16-bit soundtrack and i might still do that if people purchase this and they like it and they want that let me know um and i'll do it i will do it but i redid just a few of the things we've already heard in an 8-bit style so um, what are some things we heard? We heard Sheep Dance before. Little retro version of it. Here's Friendly Crustaceans. We heard that earlier, I think. As you can see, I mistyped BPM, and it says BALM. The loop will still work, though. Let's see. Uh, super fun tunnel. I like the 8-bit version of this one a lot too. Mostly because, as we'll hear coming up, that OG Nintendo banjo sample is simply iconic. Let's find it. Three Kings from Queen of the Kingdom pack. Even the 
though this one is a short pack, I tried to include level music, uh, combat music, boss music, and other. So if you're making a whole kind of retro style game, there's still plenty of music in here. Depending on the length of your game, you might have more than enough to make the whole thing. Okay, the final short pack in here. I don't like this one. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I don't like this music, but I made it and I showed it to somebody and they did want to use it in their game, so I thought it must have some value. So here it is. It's in here. It could work in some kind of casual game, maybe a mobile game. It sort of sounds to me like it's in the back of a commercial for like sub, sub, like heart 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 medication. You know, get your life back with Cinquelta or something like that. But if, if this is good for your game, I respect it. It's got these absolutely dreadful midi horns. Um, here's a little bit of the next one. They're not irredeemable. It's not like they have no merit. I wrote them. I played the instruments on them. Somehow this came out of my heart. I would probably not pitch this to any game. But somebody liked it. Maybe you'll like it. That doesn't mean you have bad taste. It just means that, uh, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's my problem. Maybe it's my self-esteem. Sue's Blues. This is kind of like... Like... Like fake. Herbie Hancock. Writing the music for a YouTube ad. Trying to sell you an AI program that helps you to figure out when to take your Cinquelta. Sorry, I don't know why I'm dunking on myself so hard. These are these are perfectly fine. If you want them, they're in here. <laughs> they're good. They're good. You can, they can listen to the whole thing below if you want. All right. Wow. So that takes us to these true assets. So again, these... All the things in here, all the things up here, these were great front to back. They have intros, they have outros, they have transition bars, they have layers, they have so many different applications. If you just want seamlessly loopable clips, each of these packs, loop for, Loops for All Occasions and Stingers, Blips and Dings, these both have over 100 cues in them. They're mostly called from the other packs, but they are chopped up so that you can just toss them in and loop them. Um, and they're labeled with what I thought the most appropriate application of the queue would be. Of course, you can use them however. Um, titles. Here we have a bunch called Chase or Exciting Battle. of things. Dialogue or minigame. Sneaking around or dialogue. Dreamy. Dungeon combat. 
Chill Dungeon 3. Enemy Territory. We have a bunch labeled Epic Battle. You can just plop these right in. combat music. My understanding, of course, is that most people are making combat first, so there's a lot of combat stuff in here. There are also, like, forest level, friendly village. Let's see, what else? High high pressure battle. High vibrating dungeon. Morose village. Nostalgic village. In addition to having the BPM, these also have vaguely the orchestration in them. So orchestral, modern, or hybrid orchestral. Just so if, you, if you're only looking for orchestral cues, it's somewhat easy to see what is on the menu. Um, if you're open to using anything, then they're all in here. We have, oh, I really like these. There's a lot of tension builders. all loop wandering nostalgia okay. all right that's that again if you want to listen through to all of them they're linked below stingers blips and dings so th there are quite a few things in here stingers um, I mean, if you don't know what stingers, blips, and dings are, every time I've been asked to make a soundtrack in addition to the music, I also have to make short cues. You don't have to use these in your game, of course, but they do add a lot to the storytelling and developing themes and just adding excitement. Um, so these are not, the BPM is listed, these don't really, loop that well because they all have long endings but you can chop them if you want um, so these just are for like when things happen uh, here's bad news <laughs> something really bad just happened here's uh, let's see cautious conclusion Conclusive plank. Confusing or creepy moment. Creepy clue. Disappointing, disappointing plot development. This can be used as a failure cue as well. I like this one a lot, Disappointment, then Relief. We have a bunch of item sounds. Getting a new item, opening a treasure chest. That one I like a lot. Let's hear it again. 
Hell yeah. Uh, we have some level ups. <laughs> uh, distress cues. Uh oh. <laughs> Dramatic conclusion. Dramatic conclusion two. Um, some failures. These are called fairy dust. <laughs> Good idea. A grumpy update. We have some horror cues in here as well. Here's horror building. I'm scared, personally. I like that one a lot too. Something really bad just happened. Here's kooky achievement. <laughs> uh, this next one, very useful if you need to have like a load screen in between exploration and combat, or if you just want a lead in to any kind of hazard. Everybody likes that. Alerts. So there's a lot of a lot of different little cues in here. Some of them are, are as simple as being planks. Um, some of them are more orchestrated. Here's sad and sappy. Aw. Uh, sad tragedy. Short cues, you get it. We have a bunch of satisfying endings or success. Um, let's see, anything else worth mentioning in here? I like this one, Sudden Wisdom. Maybe you get a clue from a certain character or or something. Um, we have more tension builders in here too. Uh oh. up and ticking clock. That's ticking clock. Here's time's up. And we have some trouble afoot. Um, some victory cues. Let's close out on Womp Womp. <laughs> a 
Okay, so that's it. That's it. Those are the 13 packs. I hope you've enjoyed this extremely thorough walkthrough of the whole thing. Um, as I mentioned uh, before, I think, this is about four and a half gigs of music. Um, it's over four hours of music. I think there are about 350-ish tracks in here. Um, I intend to keep updating and adding to this until it hits the six gigabyte limit. So if you buy it, you'll get those updates for free, obviously. Um, and if there's anything you'd like to hear in here that isn't in here yet, um, let me know. I'd love to add what people actually want into here. I was thinking about doing a complete uh, horror pack um, or possibly just more underscores. Um, but if there's anything else you'd like to hear, please let me know. Very easy to reach. And uh, enjoy the Ultimate Everything Music Bundle. Thank you so much.